Hmm. Remember I asked you to draw this. Remember I asked you to draw this? What do you think I'm about to ask you to draw next? Now, don't be afraid, right? I know it looks weird and it looks messy, but I promise this is actually much easier to graph than it looks like it might be. Try the same thing, right? You got this thing on the bottom. I know it looks terrible, but you actually know exactly what shape this thing is if you can dig back into your memory. You've seen it before, I promise, okay? Let me give a few, few minutes, try and draw this thing, and let's see what we can conclude about it once you're done. All right, I heard exclaimed cries. You're like, oh, it's just a, right? So maybe it's clicked for you. For those of you for whom it is not clicked, here is the denominator of our derivative. Denominator of our derivative. To make it look a little more familiar, I'm gonna square both sides like so, and then I'm going to ever so slightly rearrange by adding x squared to both sides. Okay, so what is this, this top line? That's the unit circle. It's a circle, it's the unit circle because the radius is 1, but of course the original thing we came from isn't the whole unit circle, it's just the, yeah, it's just the top half, the semicircle. Worth noting, right, right? you can have the top half, if we change signs, you can have the bottom half. You can also make it the left half or the right half, depending on whether you've got your x's and y's underneath the square root. But this one just looks like that. Are you happy? I mean, it's not my greatest semicircle, but it'll do, OK? So this is the square root of 1 minus x squared. And now we want the reciprocal of this, OK? I'm going to do it just like we did the one for 10. This point right here, what is that? One. That's 1. So its reciprocal is? One. You don't have to worry about the outsides here, it's not defined, okay? But see this spot right here on the unit circle? It's equal to. Oh, hold on, I should specify. What's the y value equal to? It's zero because I'm taking the reciprocals of y values, right? You see that? Not the reciprocals of x values. So what happens when you have a zero on the denominator? It's undefined, that's not good, right? Undefined for a graph means an asymptote, yeah? This, just like our other one before, even function. And so over on the left-hand side, you've got the same thing happening, right? And so now I'm ready to actually draw the thing. From here, we know it's at 1. What happens is we go to the right, to the reciprocal. It gets bigger, it gets huge, right? Like so. And because it's an even function, you get the same thing happening over here. Few things to note. Is this a parabola? I mean, because it looks like a parabola, right? No. It is not a parabola, because parabolas can go all, they have no restriction on their range, right? But this thing is kind of like confined in. So parabola-esque, but it's not a parabola, okay? Second thing, does it match what you expected to see? This is the original function, right? Apparently that's the derivative. Does it sort of check out? Yeah. It should, right? Let's think about those same dot points. We did it for 10, we took some time, right? Number one, what can you tell me about the sign of this derivative? It's always increasing, right? So, sorry, the function is increasing, so the sign of the derivative is positive, right? That checks out. What about the actual value of the gradient, right? How would you define the gradient here? At this exact point, it's it's actually undefined. That was a true question, sorry. You could, you could call it infinite, but you're dividing by zero. So it's probably better to say undefined. Um, but it's a straight line up, right? As soon as you go a little bit to the right, like say right there, your tangent line is very steep, right? So if a tangent line is steep, what does that tell you about gradient? It, it's very large. It's a high number, which, which indeed it is, right? It comes down to, what's this value again? One, because, have a look. This tangent line here, that should be, my scale's not great, sorry about that. That should be at 45 degrees, right? Same as with tan. So it checks out there, and then you get the same thing happening opposite over here. It skyrockets and eventually you get a vertical tangent on the end. Make sense?